these little bad boys right here, these are the cups that you're going to use for your tower garden. Now, when the tower garden originally comes, it comes with this like foam, it looks like fiberglass, and you start your seeds in that, but I did not like that technique. I finally just started doing cocoa core, which is just ground up coconut husks. I put it directly into here, fill it all the way to the top, and then I just stick these directly into the tower garden. I'm going to be doing exclusively lettuce inside for this winter, a few different types of lettuce, and I'm gonna be harvesting it often. We eat a lot of lettuce. So that's kind of my experiment for this winter, and now I wanna show you how I plant these. So out in the garage, I have a five gallon bucket with cocoa core that I have hydrated and loosened up and now it's just all loose. It kind of looks like dirt, but it's just ground up coconuts. So I just kind of stuff it in there, let some of the powder come out. There we go. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to load these four and then put the next layer on and load those four, so on and so forth. I feel like that will be easier. And then I'm going to turn the water on and then I'm going to plant them. Just put the second layer on, I'm gonna load that up and put the third layer on. All right, third level is up, two more to go. Okay, we've got four layers packed now and I'm about to put on the fifth. Okay, I'm gonna put the fifth layer on now. I just kinda wanted to show you how I did it. So this little layer right here, this little thing that comes down, you want this to be over these openings. That's why those are there. So when you're lining up your tower garden, you're gonna wanna put it like that and then stick it through the correct holes, which I think are these. We shall soon find out. Yeah. And then you see how these match up? And you press it down and that's how it goes in. So it's working great, but you don't want to have this thing on all the time. So let me show you how to set up the timer. Here is the timer. There's outdoor and indoor settings. Obviously we're indoors, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna plug this end to the wall and then plug the actual tower garden into this right here. I'm plugging this bad boy in. And when you do that, this blinks. Are you outdoors or are you indoors? Outdoors or indoors? I'm indoors. So I'm gonna stick with the indoors. And that means that it's going to water for five minutes and then be off for 45 minutes. Okay, you've got it turned on and fully loaded. Let's uh let's put the lights on it, shall we? All right, got the lights on it. Looks like some strange space contraption. But it's not it's just vertical garden. Got it all plugged in. The first watering cycle went through. So now let's plug these lights in. All right, when you first get it, you're going to set the time to this little black arrow here. For me, it is 445. All right, so I'm gonna set it to one notch before five, right there. Perfect, that is your first step. Then what you wanna do is these little things right here, these little guys, these can all be pushed up and down, see? So what you wanna do is when you want the lights to be on, you're gonna push these little guys up. So the instructions say to do for between 14 to 18 hours on and six to 10 hours off. So I'm going to have them on from there's 6 a.m. I think I'm gonna do a little bit before 6 a.m. 
And then all day long. As you can see right now, it's not allowing me to push these two up because that's the current time. But once it goes past that, I can push those up. Okay, and then it just says plug it into a wall, which is already plugged in over there. And it will keep the same program every day unless you change it. So if you want to come in and change it, if it's on, not on long enough or on too long, you come here. Say I wanted to not have it on past six, I would just push these down. Boom, done. If I want to have it on past six, I just push those up. All right, I've got it pushed back into where it's going to be living. It doesn't take up too much space, maybe about three feet diameter by about six feet, seven feet tall. I'm gonna call it six feet, six and a half. And that's all the space you need. Now, I kind of did this a little bit differently because I have had some experience from growing the tower garden outside. I decided to, when I was building it, to start with each layer, put the pods in, and then build each layer up with the pods in it. It just seems to be easier to do that way. And I'm gonna let the water soak into all of these, and then I'm going to plant. The reason I'm doing that is because this cocoa core is really dusty and I didn't want a lot of it to be released down into the reservoir. So I'm just gonna wait until it's fully soaked through from watering cycles and then I'm planting lettuce. I'm gonna do some Sylvia. I'm gonna do some prize head and, and I think I'm gonna do some bib. I may throw in some others. I just bought these over the summer. You can also buy them online and be good to go. So I will show you that process of planting right now. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda loosen the surface here a bit. Actually, I'm gonna press this down first because it'll kinda go up a little bit. And then I'm gonna loosen it. Cool. I'm gonna start with some Prize head. And sprinkle them in. Then you just kind of lightly cover them with the cocoa core. The cocoa core is just holding them in place. There's not really a lot of nutrients in there, but you're getting the nutrients from the water that's filtering down. Here are the two types of mineral blends that you order directly from Tower Garden. I'll have a link down in the description below. There's the A and there's the B. All right, here is the Tower Garden pH test kit. And I wanna show you what is in here. Okay, you get this little bottle to put water in. You get your pH test drops and you get this handy dandy little sheet that is going to tell you what your pH level needs to be. Your goal is to be between 5.5 and 6.5. So these on the bottom right hand side, that 6.0 in the middle right there, that is what we're aiming for. That is the uh, best pH level for your tower garden. So let's do that right now. They tell you that when you're filling it up with water, you want to fill it up. I don't know if you can see in there. You want to fill it up to about three inches from the top of the basin itself. That's about 20 gallons of water. Okay, so it says to add 400 milliliters of both A and B when you have a full reservoir of 20 gallons. That's what we have. We have not added any fertilizer, so that's what I'm going to do. One cup is 250 milliliters, so I'm just gonna fill it up to the 200 and do that twice for each one and pour it directly in. All right, you don't want this stuff to touch your hands, so I put on some gloves. You can put rubber gloves on, whatever, just don't let it get on your skin. Also, it's a good idea to put on some safety glasses. Make sure you shake up.
All right, here's 200 milliliters of the first one. It kind of looks like pee. Then you just take it and you just literally pour it directly in. All right, we need a second one of those. And in we go. And I like to rinse the cup out, mix it around a little bit. And then it is time for mineral mix, mineral blend B. This was mineral blend A. Now it's time for mineral blend B. Shake it up. All right, so mineral blend B, we are going to be doing the same thing. 200 milliliters twice, so 400 milliliters. Now this one is clear colored. It's just a different mineral blend. Pour that directly in. All right, number two. Perfect. And pour it in. I kind of mix it with my measuring cup. Okay, so now it is time to test the pH level of the water. What you want it to be is between five and seven. That's the goal. So I like to keep it right at six which is this color right here. A nice, healthy grass green. So what you're going to do is take this little bottle and you're gonna fill it up to the five milliliter line. You just pour it, pour it out until you get to five milliliters, about five milliliters, doesn't have to be perfect. A little bit more. Okay, cool. We have five milliliters of water. Then the next step is you add five drops of this pH testing solution. It is orange colored. It will dye your skin, so make sure that you don't get it on you or on anything that you want to, you know, not turn orange. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put the little lid on it. Shake it up. Okay, I'm thinking we are pretty much perfect at six. That uh, that looks pretty darn good. It's not yellowy. It's pretty much there, and then it's not that color. Well, I think it's between six and six point five, which means it's perfect. Perfect, I say. Okay, after that, I just like to toss this water out, put everything back into its box and store in a safe place. 